world's a mess, I tell you. It's almost like it's upside down. It's an absolute mess. Yes, it is. A real mess. People are fighting with each other. No one seems to get along anymore. Where's the love, I ask you? Where is the love? So, what should we do? I'll tell you what we should do. We should, um, we should, <laughs> we should look for someone to do something. <laughs> That's what we should do. <laughs> of course. Someone who will do something. <laughs> uh, but who will help? Someone will help. Someone has to help. Oh, God. Someone needs to help. Did you call me? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, um, there you, uh, God, good morning. Um, we didn't mean to call on you like that, but um, we have a situation down here. Yes? <laughs> well, it's like this. The world, it's an absolute mess. People are fighting everywhere. There are wars and there are rumors of wars. I mean... I am aware of that. <laughs> no one seems to care and everyone... Wait, you're aware of this? Of course I am. It makes me sad. I want the people of the world to know how much I love them. I want to send my love to them in a special way. So, what are you going to do about it? Well, I was thinking about how to send my love in a special way to the people on Earth. I've been thinking, whom could I send to let all people know that I love them so very much? Any idea of the someone you might send? And what that someone might do? I mean, it's a big world with a lot of people, and a lot of work. Whoever that someone is, they're going to have to cover a lot of territory. A lot of territory. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I know you have some good ideas. What do you think? Well, uh, well, we'll get back to you on this one. <laughs> Call on me when you get an idea. OK, we'll do. Uh, we have so much work to do. We have to find someone to go down to Earth. But who, who, who? How about? I know. Let's send stars. There are lots of stars. They shine and sparkle, and people look up and see them. They could spell out things like, I love you. That's it. Stars. Great idea. OK, here's what we need to do. We need to get the head of the star department down here to do a plan, <laughs> a good plan. A star-studded, sparkling plan. God is going to love us for this one. <laughs> I was thinking... Don't think! Just go and get the head of the star department. We need to get this operational now. Okay, but... Go! <laughs> stars! What a brilliant idea! Millions and millions of sparkling stars. All giving us the best of sparkling love! What a great idea! Oh! There you are! Star 1 and Star 2! The biggest, the best, the brightest, the sparkliest! What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? You took us out of our constellations. We can't be gone for long. She's the North Star after all, and I'm the buckle on the belt of Orion. We can't be gone for long. We had to call in clouds to cover for us. What do you want? There's a big job for all of you. You're going to be so important. We already are important. We guide sailors. We give direction. We light up the night sky. Yeah, that's pretty important. Well, instead of just hanging out in the sky in all those constellations, how would you like to do something really special? Like what? Like <laughs> taking a special message of love to everyone on Earth? I mean, can you see it? You'll be spelling out major messages across the night sky. God is love. God loves you. You can do so many creative things. It'll be perfect. She's kidding, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I think she's serious. Oh, she's serious, sorry. <sighs> of course I'm serious. This is serious. We have to get God's message to everyone on Earth right now without delay. And so I mean, just a little rearrangement. No. Just a little reconfiguration. No. I mean, think of the creativity. No. No? 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 What do you mean, no? I mean, no. We are not rearranging, reconfiguring, or redoing anything. We are where we were put during creation week, and we are staying put. <laughs> but, but you don't understand. No, 
you don't understand. <laughs> Being a star isn't about running around spelling out messages. And besides, what about on cloudy nights? And what about people who can't read? And although you think our constellations are worthless, they help people navigate and find their way. But, but, we gotta run. The cloud cover is clearing, and we have to be back in our constellations. <laughs> but, but, but. What do you want me to say? Oh, oh my God! Oh, there you are! So, any luck? Well, actually, no. We thought the stars would be perfect for this assignment because there's so many of them, and they're already up there, and they can cover a lot of territory. But They have jobs to do. Yeah, that's what they said. Well, I know you'll come up with a great idea to get my love to her. Oh, honey, if you need it. <laughs> what, 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 what to do, what to do, what to do? Boss, I've been thinking. I know, I've got it. I'm brilliant, even more brilliant than those stars. We're going to send angels. Angels? Angels, brilliant, thank you. <laughs> I was thinking that we, don't uh, think. Go get us an archangel or two. They will love this assignment. They can show up and fly around. This guy does up all over the world. Oh. oh, angels. Can't you see it? Flying around, spreading love. Oh, it'll be heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, morning and friends. Good morning, Superintendent. Thanks what can we do for you on this fine, glorious morning? Well, it's what we can do for you. We have an amazing opportunity for the entire Heavenly Host. The entire Heavenly Host? To do what? Well, you see, we need to take a very special message from God to all the people on Earth to show His love. And we need a real message, a warm and loving message. And while we were thinking, we were thinking that the Heavenly Host would be perfect for this assignment. Perfect. What is she talking about? I don't know. I'll get it. I mean, can't you see it? You'll show up, flying around, saying God loves you. It'll be perfect. Hold on, let me get this straight. You want the entire heavenly host, all of us, to cover the earth, flying back and forth, saying God loves you. Brilliant, right? No, not brilliant. Definitely not brilliant. <laughs> what do you mean? It'd be perfect. You could fly around all over the world. You could see those places you only dream about, or see those travel posters. <laughs> They're not flying across the world over any message. Listen, pal, the message is important. I agree we need to let people know that God loves them. But when we show up, people usually fall on their faces. <laughs> we scare them. Yeah. How would you like it if you're just hanging out with your friends and then all of a sudden this bright green creature shows up right in front of you? And besides, we have the heavenly host course. We need to practice our heavenly cantata. <laughs> Sorry, I think I hear some singing. We should probably go now. <laughs> What? Now what? Oh, God say. About what? <laughs> oh, God! There you are again! So, how's it coming? I just saw the archangels of the heavenly host. Did he what? Well, actually, well, actually, no. No luck. So the stars can't go, and the angels can't go. Any more ideas? Oh, <clears throat> uh, God? Yes? Well, I was thinking, how about, how about if you send your son? My son? His son? Yes, your son. Who could send your love to the message to the world. He could show what it really means to be loved by you. His son? Hmm, my son. That is the best idea yet. <laughs> <laughs> my son, of course. <laughs> they will love my son because he's loved just like me. I'm going to give this message to the prophets so they can start telling people that my son is coming. My son. <laughs> well, thank you, it was. It was a beautiful idea, assistant. My son. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, we would have gotten that if we had just a few more minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would have. <laughs> In a year or two. My <laughs> son, <laughs> come in. Yes, Father? I have a very special assignment for you. An assignment, Father? Yes. I need someone to go to Earth to let everyone know how much I love them. I want you to be that someone to go to Earth. I want you to take a speci special message of love to all my people. A message of love and hope and salvation and peace. A message of joy. You are my son. You are my beloved son. That sounds like an amazing journey. Then you'll go? Yes, Father. I will go. He said yes! Someone said yes! <laughs> see him coming. Don't you think that's a little bit dramatic? Well, of course it's dramatic. It's God's son. This is going to be a production not yet seen on any Broadway stage. Because Broadway is several thousand years from now. But you get the point. Lights, movement, action. I think God would be more pleased with the less flashy entrance. Are you kidding? God will love this. God will absolutely What's going on? Oh, um, God, well, we have a great plan on getting Jesus down to earth. Big entrance, lights in the sky, clouds, big production. Huge! Hold it. I already have a plan. Well, of course, you, you do? I'm going to send my son to earth the way all people get to earth. You mean... You mean... You mean as a... As a baby. A baby. <laughs> a baby! Yes! A, well, of course a baby. A royal baby. Born to an important mother in a big house with lots of... A little baby born to a young girl. A young girl? Well, okay, at least in a big, beautiful house with lots in of... a stable. A stable? Yes, a stable. Uh, okay... A stable? sheep and donkeys. Of course not. Of course. <laughs> well, I'll leave the rest of the preparations up to you. I'd let the angels and stars know about my plan. Baby. Uh, stable? No fanfare or lights? Baby, yeah. Hey, we just heard about the big news. Yes, 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 and we want to be a part of this. You <laughs> do? <laughs> How? Yes. Well, we polished up a really, really bright star to help. Let's go get it. Okay. <laughs> we're here, we're here. Yes, yes, we heard the news. God's son going to Earth as a baby. How did you guys find out? God told us, of course. Did God happen to mention that Jesus was going to be born in a stable with animals and straw and no big fanfare? <laughs> hey, why the long faces? We're here to help. They're here to help. Yes. <laughs> yes, and we brought the whole heavenly course. You know, the heavenly host. Oh, wait a second. You guys didn't want any part of this before. Why now? Well, that was when you wanted us to do it all. Spread the love, bring the love, share the love. <laughs> and yes, now we're here to announce the love. This is so, so heavenly. Well, that's great, but we still don't have a mother. Who's going to carry this child? We got this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yes! She said yes. <laughs> but Joseph is a little confused. <laughs> 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 